Welcome to a video from thislifestyle.com. In this video, I'm going to be comparing my Surface Go 4, the new one, with the original Surface Go. A lot of people ask me about this comparison. I'm also going to look at the Geekbench testing and give you a few real life examples with it. I've only had it a week, so a lot of people ask me about battery life. And what I can say, because I've been doing like benchmarking and things like that, I haven't let it go from fully charged to empty. So the lowest it's got to is 80%, and that's when I've been using it for. Or oh, three or four hours, something like that. So I'm guessing Microsoft's 12 hours might be right, but I can only really test that once I've finished doing all these benchmarking and everything else and um, just start regularly using it. Because the main uh, purpose of this device for me is going to be for browsing in the evening, a bit of maybe doing the old blog post on here. I use it in meetings with OneNote and a pen and a take the keyboard and fold it around. Um, so it's really good device for that. So I'm going to side by side this with my uh, Surface, original Surface Go, which the keyboard doesn't work, or this keyboard doesn't work anymore. So um, just to make things simple, I put a mouse on there so I can do things at the same time. So what we're going to do is just do the uh, quick shutdown restart and let's just see the difference of the two. So let me click restart at the same time. Okay, so we can see that this and the new one is going to get started quicker. Now, one caveat to all of this: this is running a dev channel build. This is running the release build, so there is the chance that the dev channel build will be slower. That things like restarting might be affected by that. Okay, so we're up on the go four. Signed in with uh, Windows Hello. I'm still waiting for the original Surface Go. One reason why I replaced it is because it was getting quite slow. Okay, so for the next test, I'm just going to try opening some applications. I'm going to launch edge here let's click on both those at the same time so you can see here on go it's immediately loaded up the pages where i was up to the um original surface go it's thinking about it uh, it's coming up now there's more tabs open i suppose on this one but even so you can see the difference in the performance of that Let's try some other stuff as well. So I'm going to open OneNote, which is like I said, I use for meetings. Let's... There you go. You can see straight away how much quicker this is to, to open stuff. It, this is a relatively lightweight app. So look at File Explorer performance now. You can see the File Explorer is a bit sluggish on the go. This is using the new File Explorer as well, which is perhaps slower than the original version but um, yeah this opens much quicker now what I've done is I've got a zip file there okay so we've got a zip file there and we're going to test the compression so you see the right click at the same time instant responsive there's quite a lag on the on the surface go so let's do extract all kick this off at the same time actually the, the dialog box extract so you can see the the surface go for is way quicker than the, the surface go so it, this kind of thing makes a big difference when you're using the device so it feels a lot quicker to use because of that so it's nearly done nearly done and yeah there you go it's almost done it's done now Now let's have a look at the Geekbench uh, scores. 
I've done this a few times now. I've actually compiled these up on here on a post on digislivestyle.com. So this is comparison in on battery mode with imbalanced. So I was getting like uh, 790 as opposed to 674 and uh, 2132 as opposed to 1176. So the, the slight improvement on the single core, much bigger improvement on multi-core. When I put it into performance mode, a big difference, uh, a big increase in the, in the difference and the same um, when I had it plugged in as well. But I think this is probably a, a fair comparison, battery, battery, performance, performance. I haven't got a Surface Go 3, so I can't tell what they use for this, what the specs they use. But overall, you can see it is much improved over the, uh, the Surface Go 3. How much you would notice on a day-to-day -day basis? Probably not that much. The real the point for me is the difference between my original Surface, which has been doing well for a long time, but there, you know, it's getting slow, as you saw with the startup, as you saw with opening apps, as you saw with the, with the uh, comp um, compressing files. Everything about this is much more snappy. So as soon as I hit something, it loads straight away. So on my old Surface Go, it, you know, it wasn't that quick. There was a lag on everything. So you can see between the two, there is a big difference. Between the Go 3, maybe even the Go 2, the perhaps less of a difference, but for me, this is what I needed. So my next video will probably follow up on battery life as I get some real world usage out of it. But hopefully you can see the difference between the performance of the Go 3, of the Go 4 and the original Go. I've looked at the benchmarks as well. So if you've got any more questions about the Surface Go 4, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you on the next video.